Hey guys, Unsolved Mystery here, and today we're going to be doing another mod review. Well, not mod review, just kind of a tutorial off of mods. So, yes, I have a resource pack on, yay, such fun mini wow. So, let's get right into it. I like to go fast and, you know, oh god. Um, so, what you need is four particle generators, um, 98 draconium blood, uh, by the way, to get the tier 5, I believe it is, the, uh, I'm only going up to tier 5 because, well, that's the longest amount I can put in a video right now, so, uh, 98 draconium blocks, you'll need one energy core, oh my god, you stupid freaking slime, okay, that was dealt with, <laughs> um, you'll need one energy core, two energy pylons, and, uh, I believe it is... 80 blocks of redstone and also two glass I forgot to give myself those so and also two glass and I just have the pickaxe so I can break stuff later because you know I am breaking things so what you're gonna do is place the energy core right in the center where you want it so I'm gonna put this here and so the Recommended amount is around five blocks to seven blocks away. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then put that right there. So see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So do that for the other ones, and then you're good. So um, you have to put them all like the same distance or else this won't work so you're gonna need to have to clear some space under the energy core so I'm gonna clear up a ton of space because we're gonna make this thing pretty big so be right back so it was getting kind of annoying so I just moved it to the sky so uh, this is tier one you just put the uh, particle generators and the energy core in the middle and then I believe you just uh, shift click these and that's tier one so to uh, here just to be safe and so I don't have to make everything again uh, I'm putting that redstone block there so for tier two which uh, isn't too hard to make you'll need six draconium blocks and you'll put them around oh well then You'll put the draconium blocks around the core where you can't see the core, and then tier two. So, tier three, let's go. One minute, sorry about this. So, sorry about that. Uh, so Tier 3 is you just make it a solid cube, so, like so. Oh, by the way, two videos in two days, such fun mini wow. Um, is that all? Okay, I think that's all. So, Tier 3, sorry, I forgot to mention the power, but uh, this one holds 1.64 billion RF, so that's pretty well amazing um, let me okay that won't work out um, let me just mine this to show you how to get the next tier um, bear right back sorry I think I said tier 3 it's actually tier 4 incredibly sorry okay unsolved supreme idiot right here doesn't want to do his editing well actually it was the third tier sorry about that um yeah uh <laughs> well then uh awkward so for tier four still sorry about that incident uh you're going to do the same thing you just did for tier three and just cover it except for with redstone blocks so Here we go, and then cover that with draconium blocks. 
so I'll just be back whenever I'm done. So that's done, and this is going to be your tier 4, so just shift click this, and you should have tier 4. It holds 9.88 billion RF, which is still amazing. So, yeah. Um, for this next tier here, by the way, to be able to, if you want to ever upgrade your tiers, just, uh, you know, break a block from the multi-block. So, for this next tier, you gotta destroy the outside layer draconium and just replace the draconium with redstone. So, I'll tell you whenever I've done that. So, that is the next tier, and, uh, well, actually, no, it's not. You need to cover this in draconium. Noob Unsolved is back again. I seriously need to stop at, you know, YouTube. I suck so bad. <laughs> One minute. I just finished, and Noob Unsolved has supremely invaded my brain. So, uh, what just happened is, yeah, you didn't need those extra eight blocks of draconium, so just throw those in the lava or something. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> keep them, keep them for other stuff. So, uh, this is the top tier that I'm going to show you, uh, I'm, oh god, new about self, why, why, you messed something up, oh god, no, alert, alert, alert. Okay, I fixed it, so this is tier 5, the top I am showing you right now, uh, so it can hold 59.3 billion RF, it, it, tell me that's not insane, just tell me it, just, I dare you, try, just try. So, sorry I had to go in creative mode for this because it was getting kind of annoying. I did this part like four times. <laughs> um, so, what you want to do is, uh, not too far away, you need to put your two energy pylons. So, one right there, one running right there. So, then you put the glass uh, on top or under. So, one, you just put one piece of glass and one you you put the piece of glass going twice so you can see that one's sucking inward and that one's pushing outward so I'm pretty sure that if you put like a creative energy cell BAM it should start oh god my game's lagging already oh maybe it's in the other one so it should from what I'm thinking it should start putting power inside of the thing and there's this you know animation cool thing um oh yeah i just have my particles off <laughs> so you can see that it's putting power inside so you um uh, on this one you can connect like any source of way to get the power out so if you want to like put the power that you put inside the multi-block which by the way you can see it going in at the bottom left you can see the um this it'll collect the power from the multi-block and put it in something so if you want to like charge a resonant energy cell uh, uh, you would just uh, get an empty one and uh, put it right there and see how fast it's charging it's taking power so you can see that animation too it's taking power and putting it inside the cell which, that's pretty fast compared that it already has 10 million, and we've been sitting here for like 10 seconds on that. So yeah, that is your guide on how to do that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next mod video. Bye!